I'm Moshe Safdie. I'm an architect. I'm based in Boston. Marina Bay Sands was a developer architect competition. And the government of Singapore and the URA decided that to get the maximum quality, they would set guidelines, objectives, and fix the price of the land. So they would go for the best project, not for the highest bidder. They fixed it at 800 million, and they defined urban design objectives, tourism objectives, program objectives. We were brought in by the developer, and I guess we won all the points in design because we responded to what we were very sympathetic to, making a building that is extrovert and connected to the city around it. It could have been overbearing. In fact, the developer wanted a single tower. That's what they did in Las Vegas, and that gives them an efficient single core building. I resisted it because I felt you couldn't create the wall that separates the downtown from the sea, that symbolically that would be unbearable. So I proposed three towers, of course, framed above, so that that creates two big windows to the sea. And they're quite dramatic, and you can see either way looking through the building. The towers, first of all, sort of open up at the base to form an atrium. One opens more, then less, then less, so there's a dynamic of changing geometry. The atrium itself, which is continuous and connected, is really public right of way because the public can walk unrestricted through it. So it's all about rethinking and proposing a new kind of public realm, which is the counter to the predominant typology of cluster of towers sitting over a mall, turning its back to the rest of the city as the dominant development type in Asian cities today. Then we, uh, we had the dilemma of where are we going to put the swimming pools? How do we make this a resort? The waterfront is public. The podium roof is public. And that's when the idea of the Sky Park was born. 57th floor, two and a half acres, cantilevering. 65 meters off the tower with all this kind of gardens and it's proven to be magical. I mean, it's really placed this uh, on the map of Asia there for sure.